Hey guys, so it's all like it is. I was going to elaborate more on the number 54. One of the top proofs for the Warriors sweeping the Cavs was missing in my last video about the Warriors sweeping the Cavs. It revolves around the number 54 and the Jesuit tribute for Kevin Durant winning the NBA Finals. If the Warriors win their last six games of the year, Kevin Durant would win the NBA Finals in his 105th game. Masonry, Zionism, the Golden State Warriors equals 105. This is all significant because it is the Freemasons and the Zionists that run the NBA, that rig the NBA. Kevin Durant was drafted in the year 2007, the last time a team got swept in the NBA Finals. Also, adding on to the Jesuit ritual, right? Of this NBA Finals I talked about in my last video, 88 and 19, his birth year equals 107, and Pope Bergoglio equals 107. This is all definite proof. The fact that Jesuit or the Jesuit order equals 69, and Durant is six foot nine and wears number 35, and Catholic and Jamach equals 35. This is all super definite proof. Now the Warriors this year have won 67 games and. When you add 16 to 67, that adds up to 83. And interesting that in Gematria swept in Gematria equals 83. So that would be the Warriors winning their 83rd game of the year to sweep the Cleveland Cavaliers. Likewise, the days of the NBA Finals on the 1st, the 4th, the 7th, and the 9th, that all adds up to 21. Jeshua equals 21. Fitting into the narrative. Also, Kevin Wayne Durant. And Jesuit Order equal 54. And why is June the 9th significant game four of the NBA Finals for the Jesuits? Well, using a multiplier sequence of June the 9th, that also equals 54. But check out Kevin Durant's record in the NBA Finals against LeBron James while a member of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Kevin Durant and the Thunder lost the series four games to one. So his record is one and four in the NBA Finals. Kevin Durant, with a sweep, he would have a winning record in the NBA Finals. You notice that after a one and four record and winning four straight games, that gives him a five and four record. Once again, for Kevin Durant, the narrative this year that no one is talking about because the sports books are going to make money off of the people betting on LeBron James to dethrone Michael Jordan. But when you think about it, if LeBron James is, is a de facto king right now after this year, that ends all the conversation. But when you have LeBron lose his NBA Finals after their dominant playoffs, and that only carries on the conversation. And you can't have that. If you're a pundit of ESPN, but a 5-4 and four record, Jesuit order, Kevin Wayne Durant on June the 9th, that also multiplies the 54. Also, Vatican City and Golden State Warriors win it all equals under 27. But you cannot forget Cleveland's losing record in the final series or the final game of the season. Cleveland's record in the finals is only going to continue to get worse. Right now the city of Cleveland sports teams have three straight losses in the championship series. So Cleveland's winning moho is done for Cleveland. They lost to the Cubs on the 30th day, the first day, and the second day the Cleveland Indians when they choked this series to the Chicago Cubs. You add up the days October the 30th 31 and 2 games 5 6 and 7 that equaled 33 and Cleveland equals 33 they choked the 3 to 1 lead but you know the fraud Gary the numbers fraud is wanting still wanting about the rain delay tampering with this pick to win the road series but the rain delay was scripted for those who knew okay rain delay equals 66 and that is the 66 book in the Bible the book of Revelation to those who truly know scripted sports decoding know that it is all rigged but Cleveland has lost three straight games in the championship series the city of Cleveland the days of the of the NBA finals in this warrior sweep the first fourth seventh and ninth we add those days 
and you can imagine what we're going to get in the calculator. So three straight losses to the Cubs, and four more, uh, and four straight losses to the Warriors to continue Cleveland's losing record. Also, LeBron's seven-year NBA Finals streak is going to end next year, right after as the city of Cleveland loses seven straight games in the championship series and the World Series in the NBA Finals combined, combining the days of the month of the games, five, six, and seven, the World Series, and the day of the month that games one and four of the NBA Finals are played on this year, all adds up to 54. So a sweep, Kevin Durant's record against LeBron would be five and four in the NBA Finals, Kevin Wayne Durant, Jesuit order equals 54. This is also going to point towards LeBron James leaving Cleveland after one more year in Cleveland next year. Ultimately, I see LeBron James leaving after his 13th season in Cleveland right after uh, the Cavs lose to the Washington Wizards and Kevin Durant next year because the general point is for the NBA to have parity after this year. So they get their ratings with Durant, LeBron, and Curry and Thompson and Draymond Green, but three straight years for the Cavs and the Warriors, that's a fucking boring league. And the NBA, ultimately, in its best interest, has to have the Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors not reach the NBA Finals next year so it doesn't bore fans to death. The NBA sacrifices a little bit of parity this year, but next year, ultimately, is when they're going to have the Warriors and the Cavs not make the NBA Finals, and I see a sweep happening for the Cleveland Cavaliers this year's NBA Finals. The Warriors would literally be untouchable.